Hey Celine, welcome back to Hornet Nation, the show that gives you an in-depth look at the sports here at the high school. I'm Max Urquhart. And I'm Josh Sirota. On this episode, we interview a Celine grad who just signed a three-year deal with the Green Bay Packers. Dan Sean sees what it takes to be a varsity dancer, and we talk to Dylan Powers about his impressive wrestling career. All this and more on another episode of Hornet Nation. The NFL is the premier football league in the United States, and with less than 2,000 players total, it's also one of the most selective. We were fortunate enough to talk to Tabor Pepper, a former Celine long snapper who just signed a contract with the Green Bay Packers. Let's take a look at his journey to the NFL. Tabor Pepper, a 2012 Celine High School grad, got some good news this January when the Green Bay Packers offered him a spot on their special team as a long snapper. We sat down with Tabor to see how his past has set him up for success as a professional football player. Back in sixth grade, my dad was my coach for our community team, and so we needed a long snapper, and he just really just taught me the basics. Two hands on the ball, and just chuck it back there as hard as you can, and I really was not good at all whenever I started. In eighth grade, uh, coach was like, we need a long snapper. Whoever wants to be a long snapper, go over there. So they lined us up, and he was walking through the line. He goes, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired. Pepper, you're hired because I was the only one doing it with two hands and really from there it kind of took off. From 2008 to 2012, Tabor played as a defensive end, a tight end, and a long snapper under coach Leslie and coach Palka. After graduating from Celine, Pepper went to Michigan State University where he became a full-time long snapper under head coach Mark D'Antonio. At MSU, he tied the record for number of starts for any Spartan player, two of which were at the 2013 Rose Bowl and the 2015 Cotton Bowl. The Cotton Bowl last year was my last game, and after that, I picked my agent, decided I wanted to try to make it in the NFL. I didn't hear anything all season from any of the teams until December 16th, and it was Green Bay, and they wanted to bring me and another long snapper out for a tryout. About a week before I signed, my agent called me at 9 a.m., and she goes, what are you doing on Thursday? And I said, uh, nothing. She goes, how about flying out to Green Bay to sign a contract? And I was like, all right, sounds like a deal. From Celine to Green Bay, we wish you well this upcoming season. Reporting for Hornet Nation, I'm Hallie Fox. Back to you in the studio. The NFL represents less than a tenth of a percent of all high school football players, according to the NCAA. Now let's take a look at some current scores. The gymnastics team had their final home meet of the season this past Tuesday, bringing home a victory against Northville. Scoring 136.25, the Hornets beat the Mustangs 129.225. At the same time, the girls' basketball team had its senior night game against Lincoln Park. The six seniors led the battle with a strong defense, keeping the Lions from scoring more than 10 points. Their offense also came out superior, finishing with a final score of 61. Congratulations, Hornets, and thank you, seniors, for helping to bring success to our teams. Grace and balance, two things important to being a great dancer and two things that Dan Shantz does not possess. So who better to see what it takes to be a part of Celine's varsity dance team? Did you record that? What's up guys, my name is Dan Shantz and one could argue that I have no idea how to dance. But today, I'm here at the high school with varsity dancer Diana Lewis, and she's going to teach me how to dance like a pro in this edition of In Their Shoes. Thanks for being here, Diana. How long have you been dancing for? Almost 15 years. I could teach you one of our nationals dances. Okay. <laughs> it's just an easy kick line routine. So you hold it, you know, at night, I think of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
That was good. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I need a lot more practice. Thanks again for being here. <laughs> I'm Diana Lewis, and you fit in my shoes. Well, that was certainly something. Maybe you should put your dancing shoes back on the shelf, Dan. Dylan Powers is one of the top wrestlers not only in this school, but also in the state. He plays sixth in Michigan as a junior, and he's hoping to go far for his final season this year. Spencer Burgess sat down with Dylan to talk about his wrestling career. As a Celine wrestling captain and one of the top wrestlers in the state, Dylan Powers sat down with us to talk about his storied wrestling career. My older brother wrestled when he went to Belleville High School, and when I was little, I'd go and watch his wrestling meets. The competition, usually it's, it's an individual sport, and most other teams are team sports. So like when you're out there, it's just one other person on the mat. It's just like makes the competition a lot higher, I guess. I'd say just hard work pays off because freshman and sophomore year, I'd only made it to districts in my junior year. I really worked on drilling and drilling and keep drilling. And I ended up going to the state meet and placing top eight in the state. My goal is to place top three in the state tournament for individual states. Over the years, Dylan has had many memorable moments on the wrestling team. We asked him if he could share his favorite memory. My favorite memory is with Ryan Estrada. It was my sophomore year and his freshman year. We first, it was the first time we got our singlets, and I already been through this way of getting singlets, and so when he first got his singlet, there was a girls basketball game going on, and so he just threw his singlet on and started running around the track while the girls basketball game was going on. It was pretty funny. After winning the regional championship at 189 pounds, Dylan will be wrestling at the MHSAA Individual State Finals on March 2nd through 4th. This is Spencer Burgess signing off for Hornet Nation. Back to you in the studio. The Individual State Championships will take place at the Palace of Auburn Hills next week. Well, that's all we have time for today. Stay tuned for next week when we recap the ice hockey game against Bedford, meet a Celine skateboarder, and travel to the basketball court for a legendary shootout with Nathan Stearns. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend, Hornets. Thank you.